announcement is Julian is going to Australia. Give it up. NBL Australia, give it up for him right there. There we go. Thank you very much. YouTube man, what's going on? It's LNH back with another vid, man, and we gotta talk about it. Man, Julian Newman has been a trending topic for a very long time now. Man, if you love him or hate him, you can't deny that he's honestly been an integral part in this high school basketball scene, and a lot of people love to criticize this dude. But if you guys haven't seen, a recent report has actually come out, and even in the Newman's TV show, stating that Julian Newman will be going to play in all. Australia. Now, if you guys didn't notice, we actually had covered this very recently in a video I made probably a few weeks ago. It actually stated that Julian Newman was following one of the managers of the NBL, which made a lot of people think that Julian Newman was actually going to end up going to, of course, Australia and go play for the NBL. And if you guys have seen the type of contracts that the NBL has been offering, even somebody like Dior Johnson, one of the best players coming up in high school basketball, was offered around two million. And those, of course, are reports and nothing was for sure indefinite. But that type of money clearly shows that the NBL is looking for a lot of younger talent to come play and help give them some more exposure. Now, of course, with Julian Newman, this guy's name has been in the news forever. Of course, him playing varsity basketball at such a young age for a very long time, putting up numbers due to his averaging 30 points here and there, averaging 25, really just putting up a ton of numbers, but not having that overall basketball IQ that that a lot of people really wanted to see him develop into. Now, in my opinion, this dude can play the game of basketball, but man, these reports saying that he's going to play overseas and go play in the NBL, I gotta be honest here, they're tough for me to believe. And the reason I say this is because there's been so much controversy behind Julian's name and of course those college offers that we initially had heard about. Now, the first college offer that people had stated Julian Newman and actually Bleacher Report had made an article about it was that Julian had had an offer offer from the University of Texas San Antonio and of course you guys know what happened with that by now it ended up being completely false so when Julian Newman of course ends up stating here that he actually has an offer to actually play in Australia I gotta question the source and really ask the question man can he really play overseas and does he actually have this type of talent or is this just cap can we not believe what they're saying now I think first and foremost of course when we look at this shady past and hearing that he had interest from all, multiple D1 schools, and actually some of the schools that they had stated he had interest from were South Florida, Central Florida, and Florida. And with these schools, of course, these are gonna be pretty good D1 schools where you gotta have a ton of talent to play there. And do I do? And do I see Julian Newman really being able to play at those type of schools in the first place? Well, if you hear these reports, and then of course nothing comes out of it, and people, a lot of schools were even saying that they never even heard of Julian Newman. Man, it really really makes me question if he even has an opportunity to play at the next level and of course play in the NBL. Now the one side I can say about Julian Newman and why they may consider this man and do not come in the comments for me. We all know it's true. Man the attention that he brings. How many years removed has Julian been since out of high school and people are still willing to make videos about Julian Newman and ask you where is he now. If we take a look at how relevant he's been of course even if that's good or bad and people hate on the dude or not you see that his name has really been around a topic that a lot of people like talking about. Now with that being said, if you guys see how this can translate to things like ticket sales and people actually wanting to come see Julian, it could be looked at a positive even if he doesn't have all of his game intact. Of course him being pretty short and definitely his IQ is another thing that a lot of people love to question about this dude. I think those, those combinations and of course the attitude, which these are things some of them can change, of course the attitude can change, but the height is something that we really can't get over this dude is around 5'7 140 I think that's going to be tough for him to play over there but if he really has that type of appeal where they think he's going to draft ticket sales get a lot of people to come to the games and of course even if they live stream these type of games and get a lot of people to watch them I think any publicity that you would get from Julian probably would be worth it in my opinion and is why low-key he may actually have a chance to play in the NBL but of course if we're talking about just talent wise this dude can dribble the 
the ball. We can't lie about that. He can dribble the ball for sure. If you want to state that he may over dribble or do other things that he shouldn't on the court, that's one thing. But we can't say this dude hasn't put in a ton of work on his game and that he can't really play. And if you see he's continuing to work out over and over again, which makes me question, why would this dude continue to really work out and put in so much work if he had no interest or any type of basketball inclination to play in the future? It really doesn't make too much sense to say Juan Newman has been training in the gym all this time and doesn't want to play or has no offers to play somewhere else in the future we have to question this now with that being said i think all of us know what juan newman's biggest problem was in this area and a lot of people have stated this in the comment section but of course it was the fact that he ended up playing for his father i think for sure that was an issue here that a lot of problems i think could have been fixed if he decided to go play for a different squad now of course the attitude really showed when he was playing for his father but he's going to do things on the court that probably if he was playing for another coach, he may not do. He may not over dribble or take a million shots every game, which definitely would have helped him. And people may have looked at this dude as an actual college prospect that can play somewhere in the future. But odds are now he's pretty much the laughing stock. A lot of people just look at this dude and really don't want to take him seriously. But I think to say that he's not a good player or doesn't have any type of skill in the game of basketball is just ridiculous to me, because even if we looked at when he played in the past this dude was playing varsity when he was around like 13 years old and if you see he's 13 and playing varsity basketball again this is really before anyone knew about him he clearly had some type of talent but i just think it really wasn't developed into the place that people thought it would now of course the internet has another big tendency to make people think that they are better than they really are and that they have a shot at playing at the next level and i think whenever we see any players that can jump tall can dribble the ball can shoot and maybe are defying odds at the high school level man we just want to see them play basketball in the nba playing college and a lot of times when you have this type of clout and social media following it can end up warping reality and people of course are gonna gas you up when a lot of colleges may not even really look at you like that or take you as a serious prospect now i'm gonna make the call right now and give you guys a prediction and hey if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm gonna say julian newman is playing for the nba I'm going to call it right now. I honestly think the type of pull he'll have in the media that he can bring to watch him play in the NBL is something unmatched compared to a lot of other players. And if you guys know this by now, man, attention is the game. And if you can get people to click your games, view what you're doing, I think he actually may have an opportunity. And a lot of people, of course, when that initial college offer and that rumor had gone around, Juan Newman had said he had interest and his father was talking to the coaches from Florida, but I don't believe his father actually stated that he actually had any college offers. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but clearly what a lot of people did is assign that and said Jamie Newman was lying about everything, when clearly that's not the case here if he never had stated that he had those offers, just interest from schools. Now, did he actually have interest? Man, attention can only get you so far. I don't know. That's something you guys are going to have to debate in the comments down below. But I want you guys to let me know if you think I missed anything about this situation again it had recently been reported in the hello newmans that juan newman was going to australia so you guys know what that means mbl let me know if we can take this seriously do you really believe that he can play there or not let me know in the comments down below also what do you think about any of those college offers did you ever believe that his father was really talking to colleges or did he just make it up man i'm curious this has been a topic going on for a while now but if juan newman plays in the mbl we're gonna have to make a follow-up video and he's gonna prove a lot of you wrong I called it. I said he has a shot at playing there. Again, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, it's for ticket sales. It's not because of his talent. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Man, leave any video suggestions. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications to get a new notification every time I upload a new video. And leave those video suggestions. I'm looking at the comments. I'm always responding. Now I'm active. So leave me a comment. All right, LNHMO.